Hey folks, this is Quabano with OpenMV, and today I just wanted to show you a new sensor that we're going to launch soon. It's called the Prophecy Gen X320 Event Camera. So, unlike other camera sensors, event camera sensors only see pixel differences. The pixels are actually doing frame differencing, each pixel one by one internally. And so, these cameras don't actually see anything but motion or differences in changing light. So for example, if I put my hand in front of it, it can see my hand moving around, and you can see basically where we have pixel events where a pixel increases in charge or decreases in charge. The second I stop moving my hand though, it disappears. These things are really interesting because they can have a very, very fast frame rate, um, and this allows you to detect really, really quick motion. So for example, if I stop the script to reset the frame rate counter and then run it, You'll see the default frame rate coming out of this is going to go up to 50, but then let's say I move the camera around, right? And give it a whole bunch of events. And let's say I stop it again and do that. Now you can see the camera is actually delivering frames to the OpenMV when it's seeing a ton of events happening at about 122 FPS. Uh, these things can go much higher though. We've got some more work to do on the driver, but we expect it to top out somewhere between 500 frames a second. Uh, and potentially up to a thousand FPS. Because event cameras don't actually take a frame like regular cameras, they, um, each pixel basically uh, is an event that happens pretty much autonomously. There's no exposure cycle. Uh, these cameras, you can actually set them to whatever frame rate you want. Uh, so for example, I could accumulate events um, for one millisecond, and that would give me a frame rate of a thousand frames a second. Uh, with this ability, you can actually do really, really fast object tracking because blob detection on these cameras works perfectly for finding what's moving and what's not in the scene. Um, and so if I'm moving it around here, you can kind of see there's an oscilloscope there and these are some open MV cams on a tripod. So let's turn on blob tracking and see how things look now. So we've got some examples for this camera that we'll release in the future. Um, so if we add blob tracking to the mix now, we can see the event camera actually kind of works perfectly with our color tracking framework to track objects and see what's happening. And as you can see, there's all, even though there's a whole bunch of stuff in the background here, the second I stop moving, all of them disappear. That's my fan up there on the ceiling, actually, that one blob is tracking. So let's move it down a little bit so I can't see that, right? And I put my hand here, and you can see it tracks it around perfectly fine. Now, the frame rate took a little bit of a nosedive because we're running blob tracking on these images and it's a color image. Uh, if we were to switch to a grayscale image, then we'd have a little bit faster update. Uh, obviously, the camera <coughs> has to do work processing the image, so to make its life easier, we'll get some a little bit faster FPS. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, this is an event camera. It's a very interesting new piece of technology. The potential is for it to be able to, one, it can see in the dark. Uh, these event cameras don't really need lighting. It doesn't really matter to them. They're very, very sensitive to minute pixel changes. Um, and so this means they can work in very dark environments, very bright environments, and they basically give you a completely unlimited frames per second. Uh, so for anything that involves high speed object counting, they're gonna be really, really good at that. So. We're excited to bring this new technology to our store and we're excited to see what y'all do with it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye bye.